Welcome back, friends. This is Solomon Jagres. Uh, today, I'm just uh, taking a lunch break and sculpting inside of a ZBrush. And I want to show you uh, some quick tips on how to use the Character Creator Face Tools. These are enable you to update the character in real time. But first, I want to add some details to the character. This is one of my favorite things to do because <laughs> I was a traditional sculptor when I was growing up in Uganda. I used to sculpt in wood, clay, stone, you name it. So this is just a joy being able to sculpt in ZBrush. And I usually turn off the symmetry too. So that there is, uh, the, you can see the imperfections in the character. Just adding a few scars here and there. Zoom out just to see. All right, so I'm getting to a point where I feel I think I can transfer the model back to character creator. It's gonna be amazing because it does this automatic uh, like application of all the normal maps and everything. This tool is amazing. This plugin is been a lifesaver, absolutely life-saving for me and time-saving as well. All right, so at this point, when you're done, you can then click on update to character creator one time. Let it go through the process. And we don't need the cavity right now because we're trying to do the detailing. And all we need is uh, these details. And so we turn off the best mesh as well. Uh, we'll keep it at uh, all these. Uh, these are the settings that I really need to be able to transfer the detailing that I've just done yeah, into car uh, Character Creator. And then go ahead and uh, click on Update to Character Creator. Okay, so just it will be some alerts here and there, but just go through and accept. It's creating normal maps. Your file has successfully has been successfully exported. You can switch to character creator. All right, it's minimize uh, ZBrush. And now you can see the nice detailing that we've just added over there on the character <laughs> that's really amazing you know i love this uh, plugin so much that it makes it so much easier to update a character add like scarring tattoos and things like that that you can't uh, you currently are not able to do directly inside of a character creator but at least we made it they made it possible to do this inside of a zbrush and be able to create that the nice normal maps that are carrying all the detail you know that is so cool so at this point if you see there's uh, something that you is not looking great you can go back and fix it so neat look at that And the face character, the character tools for character creator, the face tools, uh, they really focus mainly on the head. I am hoping that they add, eventually add the body so you can actually edit the body as well. But this already is looking great. So if I need to, let me see, I think I need want to add a little bit of uh, detail over here that's a little bit deeper. Let's go back to ZBrush. Okay. Let me see, I want to maybe add a little bit of a scar, a deeper scar over here. Like, like maybe he was scratched all the way from here to the bottom part. So um, let's go back to damn standard, which is that one.
click on the detail layer, make sure recording is enabled, and then make sure I'm using dumb standard over here. Uh, alpha is off. Okay. So just extend the scar here over to here. Let's reduce the flash size. So you want to make it look like, yeah, he really got like maybe a cat or some kind of uh, animal. Just clawed through his face. And when you add those deep ridges, don't forget to go to on the edges. At least this is what I do is I hold on the Alt key and then I try to raise the edges around using the damn standard so that it stands out like that. So it looks like over time, maybe the scar has healed but there's still some damage that was left behind. So, let me see. Alt, to add the detail. And then cut into the mesh like so. A little bit more here. And then the scarring, it's like some kind of ridge like that. And the beauty of this is being able to send this like back to character creator. That's, that's what excites me most about this app is that I used to have to transfer, you know, from ZBrush manually, but this plugin makes sure that as you're transferring, it transfers the normal map, the diffuse map, and the displacement map. So it matches really well with the texture that you already have instead of uh, character creator. So that's the scar that he has and maybe another scar over here. So let me make a, a deeper one, increase the, maybe the Z strength a little bit. So he had like a really bad encounter. Let's dig into that skin, creating like mess. And also, or is all the hockey. So the, I'm, the, I'm trying to imagine that the gash comes from all the way down from up here. Let's increase the strength. Decrease that. Then cut into the skin. Hold down the old key to get those ridges up for the scar. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. 
Now when I'm ready, go ahead and update character creator again to character creator. And again, if we're just uh, sending the details, normals, like the normal mapping and all that, uh, click update character creator. Okay. I can't wait to get, <laughs> to get back to the file. So the file has been successfully exported. You can switch to character creator. All right, let's go ahead and uh, minimize the brush. And look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is amazing. So guys, that's a quick lunch break 3D modeling session. Just showing off the new plugin. It's uh, called ZBrush Face Tools, and it's available on uh, the Realusion website. It's amazing. You can add detail to your character straight from Character Creator into ZBrush, and then send the normal map details back and forth. It's also amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys, and have a blessed day. Always, always praying for you and dare to dream big. Never, ever give up on your dream, guys. Bye for now.